Hammer on Jameson! And it's hammer time! That's right, look, I'll be here every single night on the Real Talk program to rip the lid off the fake news! That's right, it's hammer time! A little ham, jam, bam, thank you, ma'am! That's right, people! Look, check me out every single night on hammer time! That's right, it's hammer one Jameson! I'm here to drop the hammer and rip the lid off the fake news! Look, we've got a lot of stories to get to. We're going to get right up to a tonight old hammer jab. I drank three bottles of Jameson right before, so we're going to try to get through this quick before the buzz kicks in. Uh, so just give me a bow bit. couple stories to share with you. Very exciting stuff. Check it out, people. The human brain looks suspiciously like the universe, and it may freak you out. It freaked out old Hammerlin. I was right in the middle of bottle number two when I read the story. Bottom line is they say that the universe may look strangely similar to your brain. Maybe not Hammer's, because Hammerlin's brain is kind of diseased from the alcoholism. Hammer jam! Ripping the lid off the fake news! Uh, so basically, bottom line is the human brain, your human brain, looks like the universe. Hammerlin's looks like an old peach that you left in the garbage for three weeks and forgot to throw out. Next story! Let's move it along here, people. I'm starting to get bust. Look, an archaeologist unearthed 160 sarcophagus. Sarcophagi? What's the rule I got that one? Uh, are we saying sarcophagi? Let's say sarcophagi. Old Hammer Jam, ripping the lid off the surf guy. I see what's inside of there. It looks like there's jewels inside. Oh, look, we found a jar. What's in there? This guy's heart. Let's put it back down. We don't want the heart of a dead pharaoh. Who didn't want to eat the dead pharaoh's heart? Although, old Hammer Jam may like it because it kind of probably gets me buzzed more than the Jameson. You know, my family is Jameson. I, I've been, uh, I've been the will for Jameson distilleries. At Old Hammerland, I was just sitting in my room, minding my business, nine years old. My grandpa came out and said, Old Hammer, I'm going to teach you a few things about our family business. Hold on, i got to turn off the sarcophagi. I want to teach you a few things about our family business. I said, what is that there, Grandpa, and the poop and the peeps? He said, look, we own a thing called Jameson. And Jameson said, I said, I know it's my last name. But they said, no, yes, you own your last name. But you also own, you know, just a imagined Disney World of alcohol. That's what we have. It's called Jameson. And basically, he brought me a keg at nine. It was probably not the best move for a grandfather. I drank it all in one setting. I wasn't sure. I got smashed. Loved it. Loved every second of it. And so bottom line now, I can't go a moment without a Jameson. Unfortunately, I was fired from my job. I was a newscaster in the early 90s. Hold on, see, old Hammer it looks like he's had a couple too many. It's because it's true. If I showed you the bottles, you'd believe me. But I threw them at some old man. I saw him going by. I said, get out of here, old man. I'm Hammerlin Jameson. If you don't know me now, you know. And I said, go check me out on Wikipedia. It says the first newscaster to fall asleep on camera. Uh, there's a little asterisk underneath. This is second uh, individual was Joe Biden. Apparently he does it in 2021. 20, Future event. Look, Trumpster Dabbles. Hammer jam. Look, we're dropping the hammer and ripping the lid off of fake news. I bet your sense... Very quickly, I'm sorry, guys, I'm starting to see two cameras. Very quickly, old Hammer Jam uh, was on a few weeks ago, and I ran into a problem where I fell asleep mid-broadcast, and I was laying on the ground when Mark came back from his coffee break, and he had to revive me with the jaws of life. Yeah, he couldn't use the smelling salts. They did nothing for me. He had to use the jaws of life on my big toe and my small toe and spread them apart. 
I felt better afterwards. I can't walk anymore, but I woke up. So I'm thankful. Very happy. Look, old Hammerlin's got to get going right now. I'm feeling the alcohol. It's coming over me. I'm falling backwards. I don't think I'm going to be able to think I'm going to hold on to the microphone. It's the only way I can get there. I'm coming back. People, don't give up on Amberlin. Don't give up on Amberlin. I'm still here. I'm dropping the hammer. Ripping the lid off the fake news. Oh, hammer, yeah. This microphone always tastes so good at this time. It's in there, any favorite rapper. Sorry, Hammer has a problem speaking English. When he gets too many bottles of James on him, I need to take. Hold on. I gotta get more comfortable here. That yeah, was better. That was better. I need to lean on the microphone so I don't fall asleep. Maybe Mark will come down before the event takes place. I don't want to fall asleep again. Come on, Hammer, don't let it happen like 92 in NBC. You can get back on with Hammer and my friend in town. Stay bad English. Get it together, man. Hold on, people. I'm going to win this in a Hammer and Jameson ripping the lid off the fake news. Look, old Hammer and maybe about to pass out. When I can't make eye contact with the camera anymore, there's a major problem. I'm starting to lose the feeling in my arms. I'm starting to lose the feeling in my eyes. And now I'm starting to, I'm starting to lose the ability to breathe. That's happening right now. I don't know. Hammer? What are you doing, doing, Hammer? Are you freaking kidding like, me? Second, Always wait, wait. taking over the show oh, me like that? On. Unbelievable. Can you guys believe this? It's like I come back in the room. Old Hammer Jam took over. He's asleep on the ground. I had to give him a kickaroo. He runs out. He knocked over a few things in, in the process. I'm freaking believable. I'm getting kind of sick of it. He's taking over the show all the time. I mean, are you serious? Hammerlin Jameson ripping the lid off the fake news? I don't need him to rip off the, the fake news, okay? <laughs> we don't need it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, right? Oh, old Hammerlin. Oh, yeah. I like vodka, right? What is he? He likes vodka or something like that? Yeah, oh, I like vodka. I like to drink vodka. Blah, 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 blah. Why don't you wait until after the show? How about that, Hammer? Old Hammer! Well, hold on, Ozaka. Let me ask you a second, Hammerlin. So you get gifted another opportunity. You you screwed your first opportunity. NBC. There's no bigger than that. <laughs> None. Maybe CBS, but now they're all crap. But there's no bigger than NBC. You're working there, right? You can't keep that freaking job. You get fired for falling asleep on camera, for drinking and falling. You can't learn your lesson <coughs> and pay your respect. You got a guy let you do the show, away. and you just come on here, drink three, four bottles of Jameson <laughs> right before your bit. How dare you? How dare you, old Hamill and Jameson? <laughs> I'm sitting here scratching my freaking head. I can't figure you. I can't figure you out. Are you are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! How dare you, <laughs> Letty? Good to see you. So proud of you that you passed the test, Letty. Good job. Hammer is Bill Hicks. Oh my goodness, Hammerlin is Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks was amazing. Guys, old hammer. I love old hammer. I, I I love um. I love this new guy. The how dare you guys is like my favorite. I don't know what about him. It just makes me crazy. Uh, hold on, uh, man. That's probably it. Whatever. Uh, 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 hold on, I uh, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, so you're driving down the street, right? 
You're on your way to the store for milk. Your wife is pregnant, right? And she's going to have the baby like any day. You live in Tulsa. I'm in the friggin' Bronx. You can't drop the milk trip, <laughs> drive up to the Bronx, <laughs> and pay some respect. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, who, who brought you up? <laughs> You're not gonna leave the pregnant. Are you kidding me? How dare you? Hold on a minute. <laughs> You're in the middle of mowing your 15-acre property. You're on like acre two. I call you up. I'm like, hey, I'm over here having a biscuit. I'm dipping that friggin' biscuit right into the express. You're not going to get the frig off the John Deere? <laughs> I couldn't stop it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. <laughs> you did not kick it off the friggin' John Deere? Oh. You're not going to pop off the friggin' John Deere in Acre 2? Pit stop at home to just throw some deodorant on? Because I don't want to friggin' see you like that. And you take the trip up to the Bronx? <laughs> I'm trying to figure you out. You don't make any friggin' sense. Hold on, I'm not that. You, you're planting corn. Shucks. You're planting corn. You're in the middle of the field. You got three hours of daylight left, right? And you got, this is the last day of the year. <laughs> This is so stupid. Oh. <laughs> I'm just making the scenarios impossibly hard now. It's so funny. You got <laughs> You got three hours left in daylight for the season. That's it. All those seeds go bad after the three hours. <laughs> I'm visualizing this freaking scene. Oh, my goodness. You can't drop the freaking seeds in the bucket, jump in the Camaro, and take a skip jump and 23-hour drive up to to the Bronx and pay respect and forget about that quarter of land that didn't get any seeds. You can't do that. How dare you? Oh, God. Oh, 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 are you kidding how dare you? Oh, hold on a minute. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> this is rhetorical, really. You own a vineyard, right? You're in San Francisco. Got a vineyard. Now, maybe not San Francisco. You're in Napa. You're on your vineyard, right? You don't even have a cell phone. We had to get you on the landline. You find out. I'm in the Bronx. I'm sitting at a table with a biscuit and a friggin' espress. <laughs> this is so stupid, guys. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh. I don't know about that idea of sitting there with the friggin' espress and dipping that biscuit. I'm dipping that biscuit right in the espress. You, you're telling me you... You can't come by? You can't leave the friggin' vineyard? You can't drop that that task you need to do in order to have the perfect wine? So you go come and pay for that? You can't chance having a wine that's just, eh. To, to come and pay for that? Sonny, are you friggin' getting me? What, what am I dealing with here? I'm... I'm dealing with crazy, right? I, Sonny, I, th I got it. I got one more, okay? <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I really got nothing. I'm done. I'm done. That was it. We can't say anymore. That's, that's, that's how dare you, guy. That is demands too much attention, guy. 
or it demands too much respect and attention, really. How dare you? Hold on, Zangan. So you're going to insult me? I'm there. I'm keeping it straight. I'm telling people. How dare you? I'm saying how dare you. What are you doing? You're not saying how dare you. I'm saying freaking how dare you. Okay? Are you kidding me? How dare you? So, guys, this is the first night we've gone two hours and four minutes without basically playing a face swap. 